Okay. Yeah, if you don't need anything else, I'll head home. I, you know, like, I appreciate it. Bro. Hope you get some sleep oh. for your next shift, man. Yeah. yeah. Some people have already stopped. I think like some people are maybe in here. I don't know. There's been a few people. Yeah. But the guy took off, so. Yeah, we got four contacts. Well, thank sure. God no one else was hurt. <sighs> Right? Well, have a good night. Yeah, you too. Have a good one. I'll see you guys. I'll tell you what happened tonight. Um, it's a little after 2 in the morning. It's a, It was a Friday night. Now it's technically a Saturday morning. I was coming home from my friend Paul's house. We were hanging out, talking nerdy stuff. We like to talk about video games and all that stuff. And as I'm coming home, I... About two blocks away from where I live, uh, by this bar called the Four Winds that's behind me, I see a car just smashed into the side of the road. Um, the front end of the car is just totaled into a concrete barricade. Um, I pull my vehicle to the side of the road and get out. I began to call 911 because I couldn't tell if there was somebody in there that had been in a wreck. So I figured it's probably best to get authorities on the scene as soon as possible. Uh, when I showed up, the cops were not here yet nobody was at the scene yet and 911 had not been called yet about the the wreck um as i'm talking to the 911 operator you know she asks what i see as i'm walking up to the car i do notice that the hazard lights are on which is a good sign that maybe the person was conscious at some point um i walk up close to the vehicle and there's nobody inside of it. The airbag definitely deployed. The car is smashed to pieces. Um, and the initial outlook is that we had a drunk driver that probably went off the road, smashed into a concrete barricade, and then they probably fled the scene. Uh, I don't know why they would do that. They're probably not gonna get away with it. There's plenty of information in the car that the cops are looking at right now that will more than likely tie it back to them. But that's what people do. I suppose when they're drunk and not thinking very clearly very thankfully uh, God I'm so glad I didn't like stumble onto like a dead body or something like that I, I you know or somebody that was even somebody that was in real need of medical assistance because I don't know that I'd be able to help them you know and, and that'd be really tough um, I hope that this person that this happened to I, you know I mean obviously they're probably gonna be in some trouble and their cars are in and I, I just hope that they didn't you know that they're okay i mean that sucks it's really unfortunate so just don't drink and drive my friends it's not worth it anyways interesting night interesting morning i hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend or whenever you're watching this i'll talk to you guys again and as always adios amigos i was just coming home i live like two blocks down oh, and so i saw this and i was coming back i called 911 because i thought maybe somebody might be in there oh yeah no it's just hit it just i called him right away i don't know i was taking pictures from a snapchat so i can show my wife i know right he fucked his shit up yeah that car is jacked up yeah you have a good one yeah you too have a good one yeah we'll do it's like two blocks down so